up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Sean Diddy Combs, it looks like your billionaire sugar daddy, boo friend, whatever you call, is fighting for your honor. If you guys don't know, there is currently a tug of war between the Grammys and the powers that be that are behind Diddy. Baby, the Grammys say they are carefully weighing, they waiting to drop him. But also, can we talk about what Diddy was really doing in London? Now, here's the thing, right? Uncle Gene Dill did report that Diddy was busy in London trying to save his daily on. Um, what do you call it? Partnership. His daily on, because if you guys don't know, they are going over $15 million. We are going to get into that. But baby, the real gag is, right? Maybe Diddy was basically talking to the billionaire that's been bankrolled him. Y'all, if you did not see my live last night, of course, I culminated a bunch of research and broke the story about Ron Burkle Diddy connection. Again, Clive Davis, people have been saying, or is, is his fairy godmother? Clive Davis is super, super powerful. But baby, Ron Burkle, we're falling down with the corporal. I gotta say, fly. I, I, I. Every single time I heard Ron Burkle, it's going down with this yurple. Yurple, three, six, mafia. Okay, fine, right? <laughs> They call me the juice thing. You know I'm the star. Okay, fine, right? But Ron Burkle, um, <laughs> Ron Burkle is D Diddy's billionaire benefactor that has done so much to put Diddy in a position of power. He's even godfather to all of his children. I got, I did some more research, right? And I got a story to break about that. I'm going to go live later on tonight and talk about that. But let's talk about the way that at the end of the day, in my opinion, you see Ron Burkle's power and influence still at play. Remember I said that there was what, 200 companies that Diddy's new fund management, whatever thing is, I think it's called Empower whatever, is covering only 18 of them are out and the other the nine of them are like, we ain't going nowhere. And 161 are like, yo, we don't really know what we're going to do either way. Ron Burkle's influence. Let's talk about the Grammys. Let's talk about the Grammy statement, why it's so odd, and how it seems that Diddy's trip to London was a plea, his soft space to land, to literally get into Ron Burkle. Now, if you guys don't know Ron Burkle, okay, if you did the research, right? If you guys don't know, Ron Burkle is not just a billionaire playboy that has a plane that is titled Air F1, that literally is like a, um, a flying F -O, F o party, that Google International Airspace and see why that might not be a, um, a bad idea. It's Ron Burkle's private jet. He owns the private jet, all right? But what you're going to have to see is the fact that his influence is everywhere, especially with the Grammys. Now I'm going to explain the Grammy thing and then I'm going to explain why the Grammys might not want to cut off Ron Burkle's favorite friend because of his immense power. Y'all ready for this? Let's go. Okay. If you guys don't know, it's been rumored that the Grammys wanted to take back Diddy's invite. Now, why is that such a big thing? Because Diddy's actually nominated for a Grammy. And if you're nominated for the Grammy, historically, you always receive an invite. Now, people are saying that Diddy is so bold. He wants to attend the D Grammys. They were hoping he would have some shame, okay? I would imagine, right? And be like, oh, I'm not going to go. Oh, no, he plans on going. Because in his mind, the more he hides, the worse off it is. So he plans on going. Because again, the logic, if you're not doing anything wrong, why wouldn't you go? So the Grammys were like, okay, he's coming. Okay, right? We need to disinvite him because it is going to be horrible to actually see him on screen. So then they went to plan B. They were like, oh, well, you know, we don't know. You haven't been proven guilty of anything. So they don't want to get sued because you know that if they were sent at the invite, Diddy needs some money now after all the people suing him. If they were sent at the invite, Diddy could sue them for discrimination. Like, how can you act like I'm guilty for something I haven't done already? And we all know from what he did to De Leon, Diego Liquors, all this stuff, Diddy likes to sue, right? So anyway, if, again, so he would sue for racial discrimination. I don't blame him because he needs to find the money for his, um, for that settlement with Cassie somewhere. And plus the new settlements look like they're going to be coming in hard, right? Okay. So they said, okay, plan B. 
they were going with the line of, no, it's not the fact that we're disinviting you. It's the fact that nobody wants to sit around you because a bunch of people's agents and PR people were like, no, we're not, we don't want to be in the camera while they're panning a ditty. We don't want that. We don't want that on us. Like, mm -mm, get that out of here, right? So they were like, well, it's not that we're not going to invite you so you can't sue us. It's the fact that nobody wants to sit by you because, you know, they feel uncomfortable. But even then, it's said, it's rumored that Diddy's people were like, it's cool. We'll sit wherever because he just needs to be there. He needs to give a public image. So then the Grammys were like, hmm, what are we going to do? This is a PR nightmare. So they finally released this statement. They said, and this is the first official statement they've released. Everything else has been rumored. This is released. We are taking this matter very seriously. And we are in the process of evaluating, right? We are in the process of evaluating it with the time and care it deserves. This was a statement that they released directly to the Rolling Stones. The Academy confirmed that despite being nominated, Diddy may not be welcome at the ceremony. Did he talk about he, he's groundbreaking, baby? This is a new level of groundbreaking. He might be the first person that was nominated for a Grammy, but isn't allowed to attend because of what's going on. So you might ask yourself, like I started asking myself, why would this be so difficult? Any, but this is black, like anybody else would have been like, no, you ain't coming. Just get out of here. Why did he? I understand the whole hip hop 50 year thing. He just got honored. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But where is this power coming from? Well, we go back again to his billionaire buddy, godfather of his parents, the guy that threw him his coming out party, did his words, not mine. Go watch my old video. I break down all the evidence. It's like, listen, if you clean in the house and you like long podcasts, go for it, please, right? Anyway, they're saying that Ron Burkle is also the reason. Now, why would he be the reason? Because... I've said before that Ron Burkle is very, very powerful, more powerful than any of us can actually imagine, okay? He is the person that funded Diddy's Revolt TV. He funded Sean John. He fund Aqua Hydrate Water. As a matter of fact, all of Diddy's ventures that turned him into a billionaire, Ron Burkle funded. Oh, kindness of his heart, right? Every time Diddy looks at Ron Burkle, his eyes turn to honey. I love that for him. I love when people find a safe, warm space, okay? But this is the part of Ron Burkle that really actually gets me. Why would they do that? Because Ron Burkle, okay, literally uh, is deep in the entertainment industry. He's deep with the Grammys, okay? He has, he has hobnob with Grammys, he has started things with the Grammys. Anyway, I did a little digging, right? And it seems like Ron, Mr. Burkle, has deep, deep, deep financial ties to the Grammy, which is to say they want some of his money. Here's the first link. The second link, though, is going to blow your mind. This was invite only. Six-time Grammy Award winner Lady Gaga will be the recipient, recipient of Jane Otner Artist Award at the Grammy Museum's 2016 Jay Otter Education Award Luncheon. If you guys don't know, the Grammy Awards is actually supposed to benefit the actual Grammy Museum. It is an actual museum, right? Um, and um, it was held at Ron Burkle's Green Acres home in Beverly Hills, California. Now, yes, he paid for this honor, but let's make no mistake, it is an honor and it is a way of flexing the fact that even Portions of the Grammy Award weekend are actually held at your Beverly Hills home. This is the same home that you held your Diddy's coming out party. Diddy's words, not mine. Okay. Um, but interesting also, and this I think is where his automatically influences and why a lot of people are not speaking out about Diddy. Okay. Then this is my opinion is based on upon information and belief, but I wanted to share it with you and see what you guys did. You guys know I love doing research. I've even slowed down my video uploads so I can do research for you guys. You guys, do you guys know the real reason people are saying that Diddy was in the UK? Yes, it might have been shucking and jiving for De Leon, but they that could have been a, a a voicemail. That could have been a phone call. What was he actually doing in 
London. Well, nobody can know for sure, but we do know something very important. His billionaire angel investment, Ron Burkle, actually has a residence in London. He has heavy business ties in London. A lot of people said that Diddy was meeting with Ron Burkle. Ron was giving Diddy a safe space and a soft landing, okay? But more important, let's talk about Ron Burkle's ties to London. Do you guys know what independent talent agency is? Independent talent agency is one of, if not the biggest talent agencies in all of the EU. If you guys know what CAA is, they are heavy hitters, right? Just like WME, talent agencies um, in uh, America. If you land with one of those agents, baby, you are set. And if you can't make it then, I don't know what to tell you. See, um, independent talent agency is and has been called by numerous trade magazines, <clears throat> the EU, the EU equivalent, the EU CAA. That's how powerful it is. It represents the European Union and the UK since Brexit took hold, right? All right, but there's more. There's a lot. Again, what's the best talent agency in London? Top tier acting agencies in London independent talent group, along with the Conway Van Gelder grant. But it goes deeper than that, you guys. The Ron Burkle, okay, and this was just in Bloomberg, and it was just published June 21st, 2003. So, baby, this is current, okay? It says right here, billionaire investment Ron Burkle is merging his artist group International, which represents music stars with agency for the performing arts, a Hollywood talent, talent agent, to form a new management company for entertainers. Independent artist group, as the new business will be called, will be led by Jim Osborne, the president of APA. Artist group founder Dennis ARFA will lead the music division. It's going to handle tours for music superstars such as Billy Joel and Metallica. APA represents actors including Gary Oldman, writers such as Margaret Atwood, as well as musicians like Mary J. Blige. You guys, listen. On top of that, you know that he had so much clout and power in the Hollywood uh, scene that he literally almost bought Harvey, Harvey Weinstein's company. And this is before Harvey Weinstein was disgraced. Why do I say all this? You guys, there's a lot going on with Diddy right now. There's a lot of people that don't want to cut ties with him. And not because... They think he's innocent or guilty, but because he is actually, in my opinion, being protective. Because how else could you even explain the Grammys being like, oh, we don't know what we want to do. Nobody wants, in my opinion, to get on the bad side of Diddy's kids, Godfather. Y'all listen, I'm going to be going live. I just want to sprinkle this as to give like context as to why it seems like the Gar Grammys and so many other people are acting funny. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see y'all later on tonight. Bye.